Does anyone even remember Game of Thrones? Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I haven't uploaded anything for a very long time. Um, I was busy with some other stuff in my life and just I never really got time to sit down and do some serious sewing. But for the past few weeks I've got more free time and that's why I decided to finally do one of those big projects in my sewing list. Big as in time-consuming, annoying, and quite intimidating. The thing I chose is this thing right here, the Jonas dress from Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, you've probably watched it or heard of it. Great show, amazing costumes, iconic characters, a lot of beautiful costumes on the show. But my personal favorites were the ones worn by the Jonas lady. So they are dresses made of this sort of super thin fabric but at the same time they kind of just have this puffy puffy top and it's clinched in at the waist and then it's flaring out at the hips again and they're just so amazing and the embroidery oh my god and this is something i have wanted for quite a few years i got attracted to the dresses when i was like 17 or 18 and now i'm almost 22 so yeah it took me quite a few years to kind of um accumulate enough knowledge experience and courage to finally try to make this dress it was time consuming and very labor intensive but i did have a great time making it so if you are interested in how this dress is made just keep on watching first of all let's take a look at the costumes from what I gather, there are a few Dornish dresses of the same style but with different colors and different embroideries. There were floor length dresses made with sheer fabric. From the pictures, I would guess they are so organza. Structure wise, they have these fluffy top sleeve parts and then gathered at the waist and then spreading out at the hips again. The closure seem to be on the center back of the dress and the dress is laced up. This detail appears in the scene where Ilaria murders Doran Martell. Because the dresses are so sheer, all of them are worn with a bra top underneath. The tops either have embroidery or they are made of some sort of brocade fabric, like the one Ilaria is wearing. After I get a general understanding of the costume, I was ready to start. I begin with the bra top, which was super easy. It was just two large triangles on the boobs, so yeah, that was exactly what I drafted. I put in a tiny dart to make it fit better, but if you are more flat chested, you could probably get away with just two plain triangles. I didn't even make a mock-up for this because it was very adjustable with the strap, so I knew I could easily get the right fit. I pinned the pattern to the fabric, which is a pink linen. And then I chalk mark and thread mark everything because it is going to be put on an embroidery hoop. So I do need the markings to be very long lasting. After all the prep work, the embroidery stage begins. I usually don't make super detailed plans for my embroidery. I just use a water disappearing marker to put the general directions of my flowers and I start stitching. I used satin stitch and stem stitch to create the flowers, and then I added beads and ribbons for more textures. After the embroidery is done, I release the fabric from the hoop and start the construction. I stitched the darts with my sewing machine and gave everything a good press. Because this top is directly sitting on the boobies, I also made two more pieces out of a silk taffeta to give it a bit of thickness and to act as a lining. Then I simply pin the silk lining to the back of the linen and do some slip stitches to secure the edge. And that was the major construction on this super easy bra top. But I wanted even more details on top of all the embroidery, so I also stitched some beads onto the top edges. After that, I just connect the two triangles on the center front point, then I added some straps, and the top was complete. This top took in total 4 days to finish, and it is the perfect undergarment to go with the sheer organza dress I'm about to make. If you're interested in the making process of the dress, then stay tuned and I will see you on my next video.